Hello guys, welcome back to Tenor Share channel. Have your iPhone ever stuck on the screen shows connect to iTunes logo? This also happens on iPad or iPod. So why would this happen? What it really is? Actually, when you see this iTunes logo shown on your screen, that means your device now is in recovery mode. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. Let's give it a shot. The first way comes with force restart manually which is also the most common way that worth to try. Let's see how it works. For an iPad with home button, to force restart is to hold the home button and power button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. For an iPod touch, is the same. Just hold the home button and power button. For an iPhone 6 or 6S, also press and hold the side button and home button at the same time. Don't lose your finger until you see the Apple logo. But wait, it seems failed. No worries, this method doesn't work every time. So here I'll introduce the second method which is the super easy one. To exit recovery mode with one click. The tool we use is called Tenor Share Reiboot, which supports to enter or exit recovery mode with one click. Let's take iPhone 6 as an example to see how it works. First, connect your device to your computer with a lightning cable. Then launch Reiboot. Here on the interface, select the second option, Exit Recovery Mode. Click on it. And boom, your device will exit recovery mode in seconds, just with one click. You can use this feature five times for free. Now, it's getting back to life. And yes, this also works on an iPod or an iPad. But if you're still stuck on this problem, that may do to an iOS system issue. You can try to repair with Reiboot also, and it won't cause any data loss. So this time, we'll choose the third option on Reiboot, Repair Operating System. Then click on Fix Now. Then hit Download to get the latest version that can be installed on your device. When the download is finished, click on Repair Now. And Reiboot will start to repair your device. Usually it would take about 10 minutes. Once completed, you can see your device becomes normal again and all the data on your device is still there. If you have iTunes and you'd like to fix this issue with it, that's also a good choice. When you connect your issue device to iTunes, it will show a pop-up window, saying your device needs to be updated or restored. If you don't want to lose any data, definitely you should click on Update. Hit Update, and Next. Then iTunes will start to download the firmware of your device. Then will be the repairing. Okay, so after watching this video, I guess most of you may probably fix your device issue by following the methods we mentioned. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumb up. I'll be grateful if you subscribe. See you in next video.